Hi guys, welcome back to Unnati's YouTube channel, one of the very exciting video. You might have heard about GPT, Gemini, ChatGPT, Olama, OpenAI, SageMaker, lot of things. These are the new jargons, right? So I think most of us knows it. But today we are going to discuss on very interesting topic that is K8 as GPT. How I can utilize my GPT behavior in Kubernetes so that I can do a troubleshooting to achieve a DevOps level tr uh, troubleshooting. It's not about only troubleshooting. It's all about how you check the logs. We can do kubectl events. You can do kubectl uh, log pod name. You can do describe node node name, node name. Lot of things. But these are, you know, yeah, to understand these are not generalized. These are not LLM based, right? These are not an NLP based. So k GPT will help you to not only get a generalized human readable issue, like what's wrong there, but it will also help you to get the solution. Like for example, we all know if I come to Gemini and I'm saying kubectl create deployment deployment name and image here i had intentionally given a wrong image name so my gemini 2.0 flash is telling me that ashutosh there is an error see uh sorry let me let me put it here sorry uh, yeah let me put it here so i'm running it live so that you can understand see it's it it's likely that the intent image was httpd Right? So it's not a standard recognized stuff. So these kind of effect, these kind of scenarios, can I get into my k CLI, into my k shell or probably a Linux terminal, whatever, right? Can I do that? The answer is yes. That's what we are going to learn. That's what we are going to see in the current video guys. So yeah, my name is Ashutosh Sudhakar Bhakre. I am a Google authorized trainer, Red Hat certified instructor and Suze certified instructor. Uh, welcome all of you once again to discuss on k 8 GPT. Okay. So let's see how these things works. Very simple scenario. I have a two node cluster. You can see that these are my two node clusters. Uh, nothing is created so far. Let me see. No, nothing is created so far. So I will be using my, uh, uh, if I come to a KHS official doc again, uh, I will be using, what do you say, uh, the official docs to install uh, the KHS GPT command. So there are two things guys, which we need to understand. One is the agent, agent which will be running on your cluster. Second is the CLI command called KHS GPT. This can be run on the client side also. So in my part two video, I will be running a KHS GPT on my dockerized container, a normal container. I will be using Docker for that and I will connect to two different cluster. It will pull the errors and it will tell me the logs of it and the reasons also, solution also. These things we will be doing in part two, right? But here, what we are trying to do is we will be installing the operator first. See will install an operator on the cluster. It will run an agent. It runs one pod, two containers. Uh, I will show you that also, don't worry. And then second part is k GPT command. These are the two things. Now, another point is I have to bring the connectivity between my, what do you say, uh, Kubernetes and how it deals with LLM. Right? It could be a Olama, it could be OpenAI. So in my case, I will be using Gemini. Right? I will go to AI Studio. I will generate a Gemini uh, key, API key, and I will bring that or I will connect that API key to my k cluster. Three things we will be doing. First is installing an operator. Second is installing the CLI, that is k GPT command line stuff. And third is the Gemini. These are the three things which I am going to configure for uh, within a next 10 or 15 minute scenario. All good? 
let's go ahead let's quickly do it so let me uh, try to do it in a very simple way first of all i will technically bring the operator so let's install that operator first uh, i will add a repo so i can install it using helm right so let me do that so i am using a helm repo add right this is a command uh, which adds the repo i am using uh, my kts official documentation to copy paste all this then i will do a repo update right maybe in the video i will try to increase the speed of this recording if possible let's see how it goes now once it is done you will see hyphen a check it is installing an operator 0 slash 2 so let me put hyphen w so that it becomes 2 slash 2 right i hope all of you are with me on this and yeah see it's 1 slash 1 next is i will bring the cli command i will i will be installing 0.4.1 version guys so let me do that i will download the deb file and we can use dpkg command to install that right check this out done all good very simple now now i will be using k8s gpt right and let's say auth list i can i can even do auth hyphen hyphen help i can verify that these are my auth options commands add default list remove update so if i do a list it's saying nothing is active default is open ai no one is active now see i can use open ai local ai olama azure open ai koher amazon bedrock segmaker google no api hugging faces google vertex ai is also there right so i am going to use something called google here now we will be adding the gemini api key to my kts cluster so if you could see let me do the ai google or i could say google ai studio if i could open it see so if you see in my case uh, i have already created the api key see so you can create an api key here right so even if i go to my api uh, console cloud console i can see the these kind of scenario right so in my case in my case this is my project name guys so if you see i will put it here i am just putting a hash this is a project name like let me increase the font size this is one right so and second is i am going to yeah we will hide this key for you don't worry but i will basically see this key i am going to copy this key right so check so this is my key and this is my project so i have to tell my kts or yeah kts gpt to get this added right so how you how do you add that you simply say kts auth add add what i i am saying backend what is a backend google right as discuss what model so if i come to this api stuff here right and if i say create prompt i can see the models here see so i am using gemini 2.0 flash you might be confused that what should i use in the command line so just click on get code and you could see the exact model name here just copy this right so i am copying this model this is my model make sense simple right and and the most important part password as the api key so make sure you are not copying the hash i'm just going to give this api key correct check this and i think i missed something add back end sorry typo back end right and then so let me show you the command one more time here see what is the command kts auth add backend google then i am saying the model is uh, gemini 2.0 uh, hyphen flash then password is the api key which i have generated S simple 
now i could verify that so i could say k at us gpt sorry gpt auth list check can you see google is active simple now now i would like to create a deployment deployment my def1 hyphen hyphen image http sorry i will do a typo intentionally right so this is what happens sometimes if you want to do it intense uh, typo intentionally it doesn't happen and being a cli guy it may uh, do it in a vice versa manner sometimes simple now what i will do is i would say that analyze analyze my cluster see this is ktsg gpt guys check can you see that it's telling it's completely telling the exact error it's saying fail to pull right fail to resolve what is the solution verify image name typo check whether the docker secret is created properly check image pull secrets are assign properly or not right this is what the ktsg gpt is all about let's try let's try one more example right i would i will do a very simple example i think i have a simple pod with me if i am not wrong uh yeah a small pod uh, let me show you the definition vi pod.yaml yeah this is the pod you know what is a weird thing here you all will agree that i am seeing 50 cpus right i am requesting 50 cpus let's see i know i don't have that with me so far and now if i do a analyze command again right you could see that this is the first pod it's saying see error Zero slash two nodes are available. Insufficient CPU. One node has untolerated tents. Increase the CPU resource in the pod and request R limit. That's it. That's the logic of K8S GPT. Right. So it's not only GPT. It's not only Gemini now. It's all about K8S GPT. Interesting. Now in my second part. please stay tuned for my second video a second part of this in which i will be helping you to achieve this logical scenario let me draw it quickly so sorry i might have drawn this already but this i decided to do this is my container and i will be executing k8s gpt this is my cluster 1 this is going to be my cluster 2 right and there will be nodes of course this is my kds cluster when i say cluster check this out let me copy this these are my two clusters so i will do ktsg explain for this cluster or this cluster so from a single point of container i will be doing a troubleshooting from off off two clusters this demo i will be releasing soon that is going to be a part 2 demo guys interesting cool thank you so much for watching this video guys and happy learning thank you all bye and take care